hey what's up welcome back and today is another day trading the qqq today is november 15th remember that the platform is like a day behind and then the time is london time versus the eastern time that's when the u.s market opens and today had two trades the wrong way small trades um one trade the right way but i exited a bit early when i got like a huge pullback so basically three trades all day i will just recap them and go over the chart so the first trade was at 1034 had a buy position at 29281 20 shares so we're going to 10 to the 1030 candle and then we go to the price so the 1030 candle and we use our horizontal ray 1030 and we use a horizontal ray so 29281 29281 so 1030 the 1030 candle would be this one actually so 29281 29281 okay 29281 on the 1030 candle so i entered for bias here reason being because i'm believing the candle was about to break above with strength above the last previous highs that was this was the open and then this is like it made a high came back down made a lower high made a higher low and then i was believing it would have pushed up with strength i wanted an early entrance on the candle to go into this area here with profits and then but that was just 20 shares so i just didn't want to expose myself to too much risk on the first trade so after that it went down around 16 dollars and that's where i exited the trade at 10 40 so 10 40 at 29206 29206 29206 so that was around there what were we doing for Yesterday I was doing purple for entries and red for exits, but I'll have to change that right here. So let's do purple for entries and black for exit. Yeah, let me do black for exit. So here's where I entered. Here's where I exit. So with the buy. So that was the first trade. I was wrong on the direction there. As you can see, the day for the starting of the day, the market was basically zigzag, zigzag for most of the day. And then that in itself will just cause you to, you're in profit, you're out of profit, you're in profit, you're out of profit. Um, at 10.42, I entered for buys at 2.9219, so 10.42, so 10.42 at... 1042 so we'll go to 1040 candle and then we we'll look for 29219 29219 29219 let's get it right here 29219 at 1042 so that's where i would have entered that trade and that would have been a purple candle and then the black candle is at 1047. So we look for a 1045 candle. And 29152. 29152. 29, and this would have been the exit. So I entered for a buy here as well. And then that was the wrong. Because I'm thinking it would have bounced up off of this area because it took it as support here. So I'm thinking we have a newer, a higher low here. And it would have continued up. But I was wrong again on that trade. Just took a $13 loss on that trade. Because it came down here. I was like, I'm out of this position. I'm obviously wrong at this time. Okay. And then the last trade was a sell. So for the rest of the day, the sell was correct. But 
I didn't stay into the trade long enough to get all of that run, which is okay. It's just a learning process for me. And I know that if I can see all of these patterns every day, there's a chance that I'm going to be able to profit from it even more. And then I realized something. This is when you're like out of the market, you've been trying to trade or get your position at the start of the market at around 1, 1 1.30. That's when the market decides to actually make its move. And then that's like, you're exhausted. You're probably distracted. You're not on the top of your game. And then that's when the market decides to make it move. And I've seen this like almost every day for this week. And we look back at that, but after we check out this trade. So at 10.47, I entered a sell position. So I flipped the position now, 10.47. So I look for the 10.45 candle. So 10.45 and I entered a sell position at 2.9152, 2.9152, right? So this was our buy position. This was where I entered to buy. That's where I have the purple candle. And then at 10.50, 10.50, I entered for another sell at 2.9083. So 2.9083. 29083 29083 on the 1050 candle 29083 is like at the bottom of it so that's where i entered for another cell believing that while this candle was building it was a huge push down right so i'm thinking all right we're gonna continue lower so this was another entry point for me and then I found another entry point at, what's this? See, minus five from this. And that leaves us at 11.01. So 11.01. 11.01 at 29069. 11.01 at 29069. 29.069. So here's where I entered another sell position for it to come down. So 150 shares, 150 shares, 145 shares. And then at 11.14, 11.14 now. So let me go to the 11.10 candle. So that's the one I'm at here. And 2.9166, 2.9166. So okay. So all of these are sell positions. So sell, 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 sell. So at that point I had, um, how much shares? 165 shares riding, wait, yeah. 165 shares riding to the downside. And then the market did this huge push up. And then this push up to me was like an engulfing candle. And usually when you have a candle that's this big, it kind of sets the pace for what the market is going to do. So we had a huge push up. It could have also been like a lot of people have short positions and then just people entering green positions that cause like a cascade in people trying to close their short positions and go the other way. And also people get in, I don't remember what you call it. When people cover their shorts, when people cover their shorts, it adds to buying pressure and that alone will cause like an intense buying pressure. So you can see. By the size of this candle, this is the largest green candle that we've had in all of the time from the open. So this seemed like a bullish engulfing candle to me. And I believe that the market would have continued going up. At this point, I was out of the trade. So let me see if this is when I exited. So 29215 on the 1130 candle. 29215. 29215 is around 2215 is around here. And this is where I exited all of the the entire trade. All of these trades, all of the sell trades. Why? Just because I had the push up from here, here, here. All of the push up. And I'm believing that it's going to continue going up. And it wouldn't make sense for me to expose myself to that much risk if i was wrong like at some point you have to accept that you were wrong and then just let the trade do what it's gonna do so i didn't do any more trades after that for the rest of the day i just called it that and just left it at that but then as you can see the market 
push down after let me see around one around so you can say even from here it started to push down to like 12 15 it started to break down break down break down break down and then you had this doji candle and then we had a huge push down so this is where i would have made most of the money if i just waited and sit into this position um i would have had 145 shares right so 145 shares with a short position let me see 145 shares and let me just take it from here 145 shares down 145 shares but basically i can take it to 9061 down to 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 what let's say i exit around here two nine zero six nine and then you have two yeah basically you can just calculate it no, that's dead so two nine zero six nine minus two eight two eight six point eight zero because I'm assuming that I wouldn't have rode it exactly to the bottom. You know, I would have tried to exit at one of these candles, maybe even here. So that would have been a difference of $3.89 for the ETF. And then you would times that by 145, which would bring me a profit of $564 if I had had the trade, but I didn't. But basically, it's learning to me and I don't mind like... I am seeing the charts much better and then that's basically what happened today we have um, we have some negative news coming into the close with um, let me close this with um, Russia missiles crossing into Poland during a strike so things like that might even affect the US market and we'll see how that plays out tomorrow more than likely i'm gonna take i'm gonna take advantage of that opportunity tomorrow and let's see how it does and those are four hour candles so what's on the daily so the daily we have a huge red candle here but nothing that can really nothing that really points me to any anything going on we have one rent candle, two rent candle. So we might see a push down, but not even certain. Oh, hmm. On the one hour, it's kind of starting to break down. I can delete these. These are previous trades. But basically it's looking like the market might start breaking down on the one hour not a certainty but i'll definitely be trading it tomorrow and i'll journal it and show it to see what is happening so this is what it looks like this was this is friday and this was monday So let's definitely see what the market is going to do coming into tomorrow. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so if you watch this to the end of the video, thank you and I'll see you tomorrow.